Royal Glamour TV. Choose the best African entertainment just at the tip of your finger. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm 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 sorry. My God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ma, I'm, ma, I'm, I'm sorry. from your house, right? You think you can divorce me? Girls, you won't believe who the guy you slapped is. What? He's one of the short scholar in the country. I know. Agbabola. I know that. She knows. His father was a two-time minister and the sitting Senate president of this country. Just give me a break, please. Wait, what? I know Joel. I know he's the Senate president's son. 
though he conceals his identity. But I know him very well. You had this information before or after? A long time before I met his very annoying self. You mean you slapped the Senate president's son? Do you have an idea what that guy can do to you? By the virtue of his father being the third citizen of this country. Now let me make you understand something. His father might be the third citizen of this country, but do you realize that my father is feared and respected even more than the president of this country? That does not give you the right to be rude to the son of the Senate president. Who was? Who was pestering and assaulting me? I don't think that was true. We were all there. Ladies, please. We all know that this guy in question was a total jack. You know, at some point, I was beginning to feel irritated about the whole thing. Thank you. Laura, what if this guy sues you? I will sue him too. <laughs> for assault. <laughs> you rich people and your suing issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's coming? I don't know. It's an unknown number. You know I don't pick unknown numbers. Give me that. Hello? What? Who is it? What is it? Who is that? What is going on? What's that? Tessie, say something! That person has called the call. What is that? Laura, what is it? What is going on? Who, who called? Your, your parents. Your, what is it now? Talk! Your, your parents. What in a, We're in a, in a plane crash. <laughs> and they died. They died. <laughs> Laura, what is it? Somebody wants to talk to you at the back. Me? Yes. This to me. How can the world do this to me? How do I bear this? That's why my, my heart just ah, my heart. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, this too shall pass. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. You will be fine. Okay, you are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. No, you're not dead. Please, 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 I don't think Laura is going to come out of this. A dad of all people is gone. She will go through this. And she's going to survive. How? Just how? We. We have to be her strength. Each and every one of us. 
has to be here for her. To support her like never before. We have to. We have to. Did anyone even survive on this plane crash? No one. Oh. What is happening to us? I mean, first it was Sandra. Now Laura. What, what are Sandra? What, what, what are you talking about, Juliet? Sandra. Say Sandra? something. Am I, am I going to die today? Am I going to die today? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is going to die? Just hold on. Talk to us. What is going on? Oh my this God. Something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pilar. Sandra was attacked. Oh. And she may never be able to get her face back. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? My niece. Hasn't she heard my voice? I'm around that neighbor. Um, she's sleeping. She's been crying since morning. Crying since morning? Ah! Oh, shedding tears, eh? Hey, now, where were those tears when her father refused to listen to me? Why did she shed those tears for her father when he was alive and refused to listen to me? Yeah? He kept flying aircraft even into his toilet. To come to the village, he would fly aircraft. Now look at where aircraft has landed in. Yeah? Uncle, I will inform her you and Auntie is here when she wakes up. Please, uh, let me take you to your room. What's it? <laughs> you take me to my room. In my own brother's house. <laughs> Sorry, eh? I can always find my way around. Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. Is that the reason you stand like a tall guy? My friend, give me way. <laughs> Let me see how. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have to sit here first. Huh? Uh, uh, Laura, sorry, you know, uh, this is uh, for the stomach is very important. Uncle, mm -hmm. if you're here to talk about my mom and my dad's funeral, then I think it is right to have other members of the family present. Which other members of the family? No. Which other members of the family? Listen, my parents, your grandparents, had just Ephraim and myself. No other person. So we don't need any external body here to have this discussion. Besides, uh, it is not about uh, your uh, parents' funeral that we have to talk about. So what exactly are we talking about? Listen. I want to know everything. From A to Z. Everything. Everything like what? Uh -uh. Everything that your father, my brother, left behind. The companies, how many are they? How much do the companies have in the bank? In fact, I know they are banks. 
So, eh? How much money do all these companies have in the banks? Is this something? Eh, hold on, I'm, I'm not done yet. Listen to me carefully before you answer. Hmm? So you don't make mistakes. You understand me? Good. Now, how many estates did my brother leave behind? How many cars? Now, what other investments he was investing in? You know, all those things I want to... All the, Listen, you know, uh, your cousin, my son, is in China. He has been working in one of the best companies in China. And he will come back and man these companies. You understand? Uh, so, as a woman, you soon get married and then you go away. You understand me? And uh, these things uh, don't, don't have to fall into the wrong hands. We need somebody, a man, to sit back and uh, protect all of them. That is why I'm here. Are you done, sir? Oh, God. Is this some kind of a joke or what? Joke? Excuse me, who's joking with you? Oh, did I come all the way from the village to the city to crack jokes with you? It is not a joke. First of all, mm -hmm. my father's company exists on structures. And these structures run the company. <laughs> they consist of board of directors. All right? So if you need to know about my father's asset, you go through the board of directors, sir. Board of directors? Exactly. No, where were the board of directors when Ephraim and I started this company from the scratch? Where were they? And where were you when this selfless board of directors made this company the way it is now? If you don't mind, I have to leave. Oh, come here, sit down there. Will you sit down, this small girl? Sit down! Miss Laura, you're running late for the meeting. Okay, what walk out? Oh, yeah, walk out on me, let me see you. Walk out on me! What's the matter with you? Ask Laura! Laura! Sit down! After I sit down, let us finish what, uh, what, what we're talking about. Sit! Look at. Uh, listen. These things I am doing are for your own good. Eh? My brother left so much. If these things are secured, you will enjoy them too. You understand? Listen, it is family first. Family first. Yeah? Family has to be there for Ephraim, whether he's alive or, or now that he's late. You understand? All these assets, all these things he has accumulated have to be protected. By who? Of course, by we the men. My son has to come back and man these things. Okay? You're a woman. My father wouldn't want that. And besides, I have worked with my father for 15 years, so I know the in and out of the business. Uh, listen, it is not about what your father wants. It is about the family. Family first. You understand? The family's interests must be protected by all means. That is what we are talking about. Not what your father wants or would have wanted or would want. I'm going to build your respect. Huh? There is time for everything. And this right here is not in the scale of importance. Oh yes, this conversation is no priority. If you want to talk about my father's asset, uh -huh. there is the family lawyer. He had a will before he passed away. If you need to know about the companies, like you said, you go through the board of directors. His wealth is not as important as his death right now. If you do not mind, I have work to attend to. Excuse me. Sorry. Shall we? Yes, Look, let me tell you, if you like, shake and walk away. That is your business. Whatever you do, I am here to protect the family. Family first. Ah, who are the board of directors? Who are lawyers? Nonsense. Listen, my son is coming to take over. I am here to take over. I will take over and keep for him. He will come back and take over. We are going to run this thing together. What nonsense are you talking about? In the in our board of directors, board of directors, lawyers. Don't worry. By the time I'm through with you, you see, nonsense. Ah! Look at small girl walking out on me. You know what I mean? Don't worry. By the time I'm through with you, everybody's happy. Let me finish this food first. Ah! Imagine the nonsense. Where did she go to? She went for a board meeting. She drove herself. Oh no. Um, Raymond took her. Sandra is not looking good at all. She is not. Who would have done that to Sandra? What are you talking about? 
Well, it's not like I'm surprised or something. We all know she brought it upon herself. What are you talking about? Why are we acting like we don't know is one of the wives of the married man she's running after? How could you say that? What woman wants to put an acid on Sandra? But that's true. Sandra wouldn't leave with those husbands alone. She wouldn't, honestly. Um, ladies, Laura's uncle asked her to account for all the real her father left behind. Why would he do that? Because I am in charge right now. And I want to know everything that happens. Here, there, all there, everywhere. But there are a board of directors you can speak to. Exactly. I don't get it. This is my brother's house. And she's your brother's daughter. Yeah. Shut up and shut up. Son. We don't do respect, sir. Don't ask me to shut up. I'm not a child. Don't you think you're not helping her right now? I mean, she just lost her. Uh, listen. That does not concern you, does it? Are you a member of this family? No, not. So stay away from me. With due respect, Uncle Okoro, we might not be members of your family, but Laura is our friend, and we will not appreciate anybody who tries to make life more difficult for her now. Exactly. Mr. Barrister, that's the only what I want you to know. You see, if you oblige me on this, very, very soon, for sooner than you expect, and continuously, we shall be smiling to the banks. <laughs> Mr. Okoro, you see, your late brother was one man I respect so much and I hold dearly to my heart. I do not think I would want to disrespect him in his death. If you consider what is at stake, do you see what is at stake? No matter what is at stake, not even at gunpoint will I. I won't do it. Mm. Okay, I am. Um, I must warn you. I just have to run you. Listen to me, Mr. Okoro. If you think your late brother trusted you so much than his only daughter, and he would want to entrust his business empire into your hands, uh, why don't you wait till the wheel is ready? Again, I want to ask you, why are you doing all of this? This is simple. I want to safeguard the foreseeable future. Can't you see what lies ahead? You said, God, the future. And I want to tell you that this is not the right time. Uh, well, uh, let me just tell you that um, if you refuse to oblige me on this, um, but there are some other ways. I'll be so delighted if you explore your other options and then let's see how it folds. Can you please excuse me? All of you okay? You heard me. Barrister, you already brought this, I assure you. I don't think that would be possible, sir. What do you think would not be possible? Oh, don't you understand exactly what I'm talking about? I don't understand. What don't you understand? I said I want all the accounts of the company, everything that pertains to finance. Eh? In this company, everything around is surrounding it and that relates to it. As far as money is concerned, I want all the accounts eh, prepared and given to me. With all due respect, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, such conversation is usually heard by the board. I'm not permitted to do that. Why? Because of the company's bylaw. Uh, let me ask you, uh, young lady. Hmm? When you do certain things, your business and all that, do you always do them by the book? Then why write the book? Because the lawyer said we should write books. So we write books and give to... You understand? So this one is what I want. Listen to me. As the person on whose shoulders the responsibility and everything running about this company comes upon, eh? I want you to do this. And I command you to do it. Listen. I will soon be in charge. I will soon be in charge. Until then, Mr. Okoro. For now, you speak to the board 
about anything you need. And when your grants are claimed and legit, like you said, I will be invited over. Thank you. What are you doing, Uncle? Whatever I'm doing here is none of your business. I mean, who knows? His businesses, his wealth, everything he accumulated uh, might become the next target. I don't want that. Uncle, my father wasn't any target. It was a plane crash. But I'm not going to sit back and watch his businesses collapse. But it's not possible. Isn't that why I'm here? I mean, why would he train me for over 15 years and I still lack the requisite knowledge and expertise to do the job? Even in his absence, uh, listen, this is my brother's business, his venture, his investments, and I will not sit back and watch it collapse. Hmm. It's not possible now. I mean, how, how has being daddy's brother buy you the competence and intelligence to run this company? No, 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 don't, don't, don't even know that one. Eh? My son, Uchenna, he will come back and take over and run this place boom, very well. Interesting. Was that the reason you went behind my back to see the barrister and snuck in here to talk to the accountant? Hey, I'm only trying to safeguard and secure a, a foreseeable future. You can see that. Look at the future there. Oh. I'm trying to safeguard it and oh. then secure it. Uncle, what you're doing is not right. You and I know that. Uh, uh, Laura, I did not come all the way to this place. To be lectured on what is right and what is wrong. Eh? I know what I'm doing. Neither did you come all this way to start making problems or troubles over a property of a man who just died. He hasn't been laid to rest. He hasn't been lowered into the ground. And this question just keeps popping in my head, you know. What sort of a brother are you? How is Laura? She's coping. Fiona is with her. And her nagging and entitled bastard of an uncle came she, around. She, she's, she's going to make life unbearable for Laura. Trust Fiona. The doctor said you talked about somebody coming to the hospital to attack you. She talked to I never said anything to the doctor. How did he know? Are you also having amnesia? <sighs> no. I don't remember saying anything to the doctor. But she came. She tried to kill me. 
Wait. Are you sure he's not the wife of any of your... Percy. I mean, we need to know where this problem is coming from. Of course. Right? Okay. Okay, now we need to do something. Uh, let me call the police. Wait. 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 Why are you calling the police? Didn't you hear what she said? The fellow came to the hospital to attack her. What if she comes here? There is no way the whoever idiot shows up here that I cannot deal with her myself. Trust me. Trust me. Are you sure about this? I said trust me. Sorry. 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 This is terrible. Oh. Hey, don't, don't cry. Do not cry. Listen. Your cousin will soon get married. When she gets married, what happens? All her father's properties, all that this man acquired on earth, will go into wrong hands in the name of marriage. That is what I want you to understand. So, Dad. it is time for you to... Listen, listen, listen. Eh, hold on. You have worked for that Chinese company for more than 10 years now. 10 years! So, it is time for you to come back and run your uncle's empire. That is what I'm talking about. You can't be struggling over a property that has been assigned to someone. If she takes you to court, you could be jailed. What nonsense are you talking about? Honestly, Dad, the way you're going, she'll be serving you a cease and this is hot as soon. She can't do that! Oh, 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 oh. So you can speak, eh? Idiot. No, you can talk. I thought you had, you, you, you had suddenly gone dumb. Move here. Listen to me. She cannot sue me. She can't do that. Uh -huh. All I am saying is that make arrangements for the funeral and leave her father's company let, let, let alone. She can only do ah. that over her own dead body. She cannot do it. You understand me? I am here to protect her, bro my, her father's property. Her father was my brother. Let me tell you something. Her father was my only brother. The only brother I had on this earth. So it is my duty to protect his property. And I must do that. Nonsense. This is the 21st century, father. It's absolute rubbish. I will not do that. I will not do that. I must do what I have to do. Protect my brother's wealth. We are Africans. 21st century or 2020th century. We are Africans. So get out of my phone. Don't want to listen to me. Nonsense. No, you need to listen to your son though, because he's more exposed than you. Listen, his exposure has only increased his stupidity and injustice. You understand me? In fact, he no longer sounds like my son. He no longer sounds like my own son. Nonsense. Oh. But you have tormented her enough. I think...
What are you doing? Sandra, I'm here. Bella said she will come see you later in the afternoon. And I bought you lovely things. Sandra? 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 Sandra, I, I got you some things. Sandra? Baby, stand up. Sandra! No. Sandra! Ah, Sandra! Sandra, please. Sandra, please. Don't do this. Sandra, please. Ah, Sandra. Sandra. Jesus, no. No. Sandra, please. Sandra. Juliet. 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 Ah. What is happening? Juliet. Juliet. Tessa, what Juliet. is it? How did this happen? I don't know. I have, I have no idea. I just came into the room and found her lying there, lifeless. How did this happen? How? Officers, there she is. Ah, Juliet. What's going on? What's the meaning of this? Please, madam, you are either in the office for questioning. Why? What for? What did I do? What did she do? Juliet, talk to us now. What is going on? Whatever you say, we shall just see what you want. Why? What did I do? Madam, respect that said. Move to where officer. Where are you moving? Julia, what is going on? You don't have to. She will join you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I have no idea. Please, Lord. I have no idea. You have to know what is going on. Come, Julia, hold on. Let's know what is going on first. It's been three weeks since I lost my parents. Um, I mean, you're the closest relative I have. And so we're yet to discuss about the burial arrangement. Oh. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, all of a sudden you now realize that I am your father's relative. But point of correction, I am not just your father's closest relative. I am his only brother. His only brother! Wait, Claire, sir. Good. Can we now talk about the arrangement, the funeral arrangement? Uh, uh, wait, why are you so much in a hurry to bury your parents? Are you in any way planning to elope with a man in the middle after the wedding? That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Why will I do that? Sir, do I look like I have an ulterior motive other than Paying my parents their last respect. Yeah. I never said so. I didn't say anything of such. Yeah? It's just uh, the haste in your tone that I uh, sent the signal. So, what haste? Yeah. Anyway, you you hear from me soon. So I don't want this to look like a threat. But if I do not hear anything by the end of this week, I will do it myself. Uh, <laughs> that's a lie. Uh, Excuse you. me. <laughs> That's a lie. You can't do that. You can't do that. Look at you. Yeah? Ha, ah, just try it. Hey, you want to bury your father without without carrying the elders along. Yeah? Without informing the elders without Hey, you know what it means? You know what it means? Tradition. You'll be going against the tradition of the land. You know where it will land you? Hey, you think it is a matter of uh, April, April, April. Look at you. Just try it. What is this? Okay. Nine. Now you must allow that girl to bury her father in peace. Yes. If you have nothing good to say, this girl out of my sight and great get back to the house. Nine, you cannot stop a child from burying her parents. 
Odrama. Isn't it enough agony that she lost her both parents same day? Eh? Now we are supposed to console her and find a way forward. But instead, you keep on making life unbearable for the poor girl. I don't even know why I brought you here in the first place. I should have left you out there in the village. Oh, so you want to send me back to the village? Okay, now go ahead and send me back to the village. Because I cannot stand there and watch you torment or torture that innocent orphan. Eh? Now we are supposed to console her and look for a way forward. But instead, you keep on making life unbearable for the poor orphan. Now what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why are you always thinking of no one else but yourself? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead and beat me. Yes, beat me and satisfy your ego. Shameless man. No. Yes, shame on you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Beat me. Idiot. Who are that? You look like your, your, your great grandmother. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. Come. How did that? How did that? Look, look, look. I will go to your parents and retrieve my whatever, whatever I paid as right back. Line up, yeah? You are behaving like your great grandmother. So tell me, what do you want to do now? I'll just go ahead and bury my family. I'll do that if he's not forthcoming with any plans. Besides, I do not need his imputes to bury my parents. This is good to hear. This is very good to hear. You know, it's so disappointing to know that your uncle Okoro will always remain its old self. I knew he was pretending to have turned a new leaf when your father was still very much alive. Huh. I think you should go ahead with the bearers. You know, instead of... Instead of making plans to bury... I mean, to lay my parents to rest. He's going all over the place, being cynical and, and greedy. Just calm down, Laura. Please, put yourself together. Oh, so tell me, how do you intend to go about it? I'm so sad. I'm, I'm, I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> At a snap of the finger, it, it's like... It's like I've lost everything. Oh, come on. Why would you say that? I'm so, I'm so confused. That's all right. Listen to me. You have not lost anything. I've always known you to be a very strong woman. And then you would go through this. Oh, come on. I'll be here waiting for you. All right? Everything is going to be all right. <sighs> What is the matter? My soul is vexed, worn out, weary within me. I am literally dying or living. I know so much sadness that I, I don't feel that I will smile again. I don't, I cannot fully tell the cause of my sadness. But it is as though I think I'll ever smile again. Though the sun rises, but it can never shine. I am so sad. I'm lost for words because I feel like I've lost everything. I can't even breathe. Fiona. 
I am sad. And the recent happenings have left me speechless. You have to be strong. Um, Desi has not been released. Why is that? I don't know. Bill and I were there earlier on, but they refused to grant a bail. Why would they do that? I mean, what right would they have to retain her there for 24 hours without a court order? I'll call my lawyer immediately. Planning to do what is regards? As regards everything. Of course. The companies, the, 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 the estates, the investments, the monies in the banks, and even those under the bed. What are you planning to do about it? You know, I kind of suspect that that was what you wanted to discuss with you. You suspected that, right? Yes, indeed. Well, if you must know, I am not the right person to ask these questions. We have our family lawyer, he will read the will. And then the board of directors will put you in the know as regards the company. Fini, I mean, it's as simple as that. So, when? What? When are they going to do all that? When? Uncle, I'll speak to Barrister Alfred um, and know what next to do. He is not going to tell us when he is going to do anything. He works for the family, doesn't he? Yes, so we are going to tell him when. How, where, and why that you do for us? What do you want him to do for us? Mm. Yes, not the other way around. <laughs> huh? So call him and tell him to come immediately. That's what we have. Uncle, I'll speak to him. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Oko. I have the wheel here well sealed and uh, well packaged. But I'm sorry to announce to you that the will is not going to be read yet until the expected time. Listen? No, why are you talking? Listen, I demand that you read the will now. In fact, you have to read the will. No, 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 no. Ah! What do you mean? With, no. with, with profound respect to you, we can only respect the wish of the owner of the will. I'm not going against this wish. You must read the will today. No, no. After all, who, who, who was it? Do you have any witness? Do you have any witness, somebody that, that was there when my brother said what he said? Do you have somebody that would testify that what you are telling us now is the truth of what my brother said? No, read the way, please. Just as the lawyer said, my daddy has a will and certainly it will be read in due time. Hey, hey. He has to read it today. In fact, now, 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 now. Read the way, barista. Ah, okay. You see the unfortunate thing here, Laura, your father was a very limited man. If I were to be in his shoes, I would have saved you Caesar and deceased all that long time ago. Ah, Caesar and deceased, I would start the top the nonsense and uh, read the will. I will not read the will. You must read the will. You must read the will. What, what, what nonsense are you talking about? Oh, that you continue to make life unbearable for the poor girl for what her father left behind for her in her name? I am not going to read the will. Barista. Yes. Barista. What is this? Just what nonsense is this? I just hand you over a copy of the will. Don't joke with me. Don't you toy with me. Laura? So, this is how it works, eh? This is how it works! Excuse me, how what works, sir? How what works? Oh, that's good, Basil. Oh, that's good, Basil. 
Laura, you sat down with this. This church and bed. He's not even a lawyer. Look at him. This church and bed. You sat down with him. Drafted this nonsense. And then forged your father's signature and put on it. Yeah? Mr. Koro, I won't sit here and have you insult a legal luminary. Have you gone bonkers? You are the one in the bunker. You are the one in the bunker! Mr. Lego Luminary of, of, of Forgery. That's what you are. Lego Luminary of Forgery. Ah, how could my own brother, my own brother have left my, my completely, completely out in his will? It's not possible. It's not possible. He could have done that. She wants to know. He just did. No. <laughs> he did not. This is forgery. This. Okay, Don't worry. Don't worry. Quaqua. Both of you have not seen the last of me yet. You will see me going with this. You, the good luminary of forgery. I'll see you. What's this? I don't need. Marissa, thank you. You're welcome. Antivirals. Make them out of the And as you can see, I'm already doing my job. It's okay. Thank you so much. What are you girls up to? Um, babe. Charles. Jerry and Malcolm. You remember them? Jerry. Aren't those your cousins in London? Exactly. That's my sharp babe. They are my cousins. So what about them? Um, <clears throat> okay, the thing is, those three handsome guys are coming into the country in four days. So I and Percy, I think, you know, matchmaking you with them. Exactly. Uh, matchmaking. <laughs> I think you like that particular one, Malcolm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Charles, they've changed. Not yeah. oh, bad. But I'm not interested. Go Why? on, girl. These guys are cute, rich, they've made money. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh. Okay. Jerry then. Don't I have a say in this? No. Malcolm is showy, proud and a flat. Well, I don't know what you girls are saying. <laughs> but for me, I would rather want a man who chose a man who is simple, down to earth, even if you have to take care of him. I have heard that like a million times already, girl. Okay. <clears throat> I should be the one you ladies are planning this for, not her. Sorry. No, no, no. This is for her. I'm just playing, you know. Just... You're not playing. You mean every word. I know you very well. <laughs> you do, my darling. You do. Let me give you My darling, <clears throat> there is this party that is coming up. This weekend. I am not interested in all Oh, party. baby. Oh, darling. Let me finish, okay? Okay, finish. This party is going to be exotic. Oh. All of us are going to be there. For real? Yes. Really? Yes, baby. I'm not interested. <laughs> How are you going to find this man? God will send someone to me. Uh, Maybe in the church. You need to yeah, church is... Church is Jerry, it's nice to see you finally. Yeah. I thought you're never going to say that. Okay. You know, you should be grateful to my cousin, Tessie. Why is that? Yeah. It wasn't really easy to get her to convince me to look your way. Yeah, I don't um, fancy mingling with Nigerian ladies. Oh. Yeah. How's that? You know, they rip guys off a lot. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm not like every other Nigerian girls out there. 
I am quite Yeah, young. yeah, yeah. I know that your dad died and left you a couple of gold stars. You know, me, I'm very picky. Yes. Um, it's not really about um, what a woman has. Yeah, it's about um, loving you or not. So that means you really like me? Mm, like I said before, it wasn't easy for Tezzy to convince me to look your way. That means you do not like me. Mm. Back then in America, I've got a lot of pretty ladies. Mm. It's really hard fucking every one of them. They'll be thinking that um, you, you're falling for them, but in reality, you've got no shit for any of them. So you're trying to say that all you do with them American ladies is just to sleep with them and dump them? <laughs> Nigerian ladies are known for heartbreaks. Hmm. Yeah. All right, um, you have to excuse me. I need to get something, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. No shit. All right, I, I, I may be sleeping over. Yeah. Suppose you're ready for me. Ready for what? For tonight. Hey, mom. What the fuck are you talking about? I am not fucking ready to see that fucking old man. He left me stranded in America and uh, he wants me to die of hunger? What? Now that he hears I'm in Nigeria, he wants to see me? What does he want from me? Where did you go? You left me in the middle of this your big house and disappear or what? I went to check something I was cooking. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Save that apology. I will listen to every of it on bed. Tonight. What the hell is this woman calling me? Is that your mom calling? Yes. And so what? So? On bed? Yeah. What's the time? What? Yes, it didn't work. What? what are you talking about? Jerry is the cutest of them all. It's more like, like the rudest. Arrogant and selfish human I've ever met in my life. I thought you said Malcolm was too good. Yeah, Jerry is too occasionally. But babe, you can still. Do you know that that guy uses the F word on his mom and dad? What? Yes. What are you talking about, Laura? Come on, this guy is in London. These things are no more. So what? We are Africans. I am an African woman. I am, I love respect. And I love someone who is responsible. You all know I'm, of course I do, I do. I got you there. That's what I'm saying. Well, well you can still do something about this. No, I can't do anything. It's not for me. It's not my kind of person. Maybe it's for Bella. Oh, no, 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 I don't want this one. Mm -mm. No, you have to want him. I don't want him you need to see the way you're saying, oh, fuck you, give my fuck you. I don't want fucking in my life, man. No, you need it. You, you are the one in search of a man. No, 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 you you I must want it. I don't want that one. You have to link Laura. her. Why are you guys are talking about my Laura. cousin? Yeah. I don't want your cousin what are you trying to say. What? What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that he's not a man for me. He's not the man for me. Simple. Like I said, maybe the man for Bella, but not for me. Not for me. For me.
he brought in another woman to the house and when I questioned him, he beat me up in front of her. I told you. I told you not to ever attack Michael anytime you see him with another woman. I did. Oh, look at your face. This is what you get. Can you get involved with the wrong kind of rich guy in marriage? He will treat you anyhow. Because he feels he buys everything for you. Seriously, this is not nice at all. Instead of me to get married to a woman bitter, I rather remain single. I'm telling you, husband is not a trophy. It's not. Juliet, you have the chance to get married to the right person. But you... Okay, okay. I married wrong, I know. But can you just stop insulting me? After all, you don't even know what it means to be with a man. You mean a monster like your husband? God forbid. Seriously. <sighs> okay, fine. I was just joking. That's your husband calling. Maybe. Maybe he wants to apologize. Maybe he's sorry. Or maybe he's mad. Juliet. Your kids, your children, they may be asking questions by now. By telling me to go back to a bitter man? We are going to plan to put up with his excesses. When you decided to get married to Michael of all people, against our advice. How many more times do you have to remind me about it? So long as it keeps maltreating you. I'm going to file for a divorce. But you've always told us that you are against divorce, just like your mother. Hey ladies. Hi, Hi. Hi. Laura. Are you stopping? Let's just say the universe has a way of bringing things and people together. I promise. I didn't say anything. Me neither. Did you two put this together? Did you two put this together? You can swear that one. Um, Laura, please, can we talk? Oh. I don't think that's it. Yeah, it costs us a lot to get her to come out of the house. So please, don't make her change her mind. Okay? <laughs> I think I agree with her. Please, Joe. Perhaps you can try this the regular way. What regular way? It's a man's thing, I believe you understand. Right, Joe? Well, I do. Um. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Oh, ladies. We are not girls, because some of us are married. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Are you ladies around? Shall we, ladies? Yeah. Yeah. Why are they still keeping us? Um, I think they're still serving other people. They don't know who you are. I think I'll go and tell them who you are. They can't keep my billionaire friend waiting. I'll be right back. Exactly. 
Did you see that? Take it too long. Take it for long, please. Hey, Joe. Yes. Oh, good. You promised to speak to her on my behalf. Listen, with the way we are going, this plan won't work. Okay, I have something to tell you. I, I have found someone else to execute the deal. Her kind of spec. Hold on. You mean rich and inflation men like me are not her spec? Nah. She's not easily tempted by your bottles. And what is that supposed to mean? Laura is not easily tempted by your wealth and your affluence. Because she's a billionaire? Exactly. That's the problem. Laura doesn't like to date rich guys. You know, her kind of guys are these poor guys. Like, like down to earth guys. She said all this to you? Well, she just opened up. You mean you've been friends for years and you just find out all this information? Um, Laura is the youngest. And the most secretive amongst us. So that is to say you found someone has to pull the strings for you? Let's just say work in progress. Okay, so one for you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. No drinks yet. No. I suggest we should just buy ours. Exactly. It's taking too long. Seriously. Where's the waiter? Waiter. Good girl. I think I should just go get us drinks. Please. Do you think you should do that? You can't just be seated like this, Julia. Okay, fine. Don't waste time like Juliet, because she's wasting so much. <clears throat> I think I should go get it. <clears throat> Sorry, ladies. I had to use the convenience. Convenience? That long? Like you were saying, I am nothing like her, so I'm not going to take long. If you insult me one more time, I'm going to beat you up Will and you have your whole family arrested. Just keep quiet. What is going oh, on? Look at this dirty whore. Excuse you. I have always known you are envious of me. Insult me one more time. I'm going to beat you up. I, I will beat yourself. you up and have you arrested. I, 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 I am okay, leaving. Okay, that's it. Time. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Um, um, um. I'm sorry. My God. Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. You idiot. You are still standing here. But I don't have to apologize. Look at what you've got. 
Ma, please, please, I'm sorry. Um, what what happened in there wasn't intentional. Please, please, ma, please don't deal with me. I'm, I I beg you. Why would I do that? It's okay. It's fine. It's okay, ma. Wait, hold up, Juliet. You said you were going to get us some drinks and... And she ended up having sex in the toilet with some random guy. It's a lie. There it is. I challenge her to refute it. Juliet! Jeez, tell us this is not true. You're unbelievable. Gosh! God damn! She said it. You heard her. Is that all you have to say? For crying out loud, you're a married woman. How can you have sex with some random guy in, in a toilet? toilet? Hey! Trust you. Tessie, I have decided to set aside our differences and focus on the greater good. What differences? I will just pretend that you're unaware of our differences. Can we find a man for our best friend? A man fits for her. Juliet, how does that explain that you were in a toilet with Joel? Have you wondered how our friend Laura will feel if she gets to know that you were for leaking with Joel in the toilet. Now what? Are you going to tell Michael or what? That's none of my business. I won't waste my time doing that. I'll leave that to him to find out the kind of woman he got married to. Yes, Michael also cheats. He is not different. He brings in side chicks in our matrimonial bed. It's none of my business. Oh, Tessa, can you just stop? Stop! Okay. If that's any consolation, I will not tell Michael. Okay? Now, please. I think we should keep maintaining our distance. Just stop trying to come close to me. I don't like it. Drink up. First life, so many hidden enemies that you don't know who's against you. Search around you, so many friendly enemies. They're praying for your downfall. Yeah. In this life, Everyone is a suspect, no one is innocent. A good friend today can turn to be a... Hello? I haven't heard from you on a new plan. Things are beginning to fall in place. Just give it time. That's one thing I don't have. Time. Trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. Among every twelve, there must be Judas. Have you not heard? Not everyone's smiling with you Want something good to come to you In the midst of things you'll be asking Who is my enemy? Hey, and who did I... You shouldn't have You shouldn't have How will she regard you now? If she ever gets to find that you slept with Juliet Well, um, let's just forget about that for now It has happened, it has happened Besides Laura have not taken me serious for once. Listen, 
There's something I need to tell her about Juliet. She is not who you all think she is. Ah, we all know about Juliet. We all know who she is. She is one discontent, loose, and envious woman. Aside from Laura, we all know who she is. We do. <laughs> you have no idea what she's up to next. Yes? What are you talking about? <sighs> Juliet is me. And as a matter of fact, I'm sure she's up to something very devastating at this time. Tell me about it. Can I trust you? Of course you can trust me. First life, so many hating enemies that you don't know. Please, I need your help. You need to come here by the junction. Yes, my car just fell into a ditch. Yes, the junction. All right, no problem. Yes, um, I've been trying to get it out, but it's stuck. Enter, let's try it now. You, you can do it. So you gotta watch your back, no one knows the enemy. Hey, have you not heard? You must be Judas. Hey, have you not heard? Not everyone's smiling with you, but something good to come to you. In the midst of things, you'll be asking, Who is my enemy? It's not working. I can't seem to get it out. Do you know how to drive? Sorry, okay. Sorry. Can you tie down? No, it just um it fell into a ditch and I can't seem to get it out. Okay, um, can I help? You know how to drive? Yeah, yeah. May I help? I'll be delighted, thank uh, you. Okay. Alpha, just help me push him here. Tony. I just said thank you. Yeah, I heard you. Okay. Hi. I'm, I'm Laura. Did you say something? You heard me. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, um, I have to leave. Okay. I'm the guy at the bar. What bar? The bar where you and your friends came to celebrate that day. You are that guy? Yeah. <laughs> How come I didn't recognize you? Same question I was asking myself. Really? Yeah. You, you work there? Yeah, uh, well, I'm just a poor boy trying to make ends meet, you know. Ah, I can yeah. see you. A humble guy. Yeah, um, I have to leave now. My boss will be really angry if I don't get to work. Okay, that's fine. All right. That's really nice. Thank you. I mean, thank you very much. Uh, no, you're welcome. Just be careful. I, I can drop you off. If no, no, no. I'll just work. I insist. Okay. Yes. Just get into the car. Okay. I need to call someone because I, I called someone to help me, but. Okay. Hello, Raymond. Don't, don't bother. Yeah, don't bother. What's going on? 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 I saw it. What did you see? I saw We no, saw I... the same girls are all the same things. You finally found someone. Spill. I, I did? Yeah, I did. You did. Who? Tell us. He must be really handsome. 
Let's hear it. Come on. I have no idea what you girls are talking about. You know what? Before you say anything, <laughs> we just wanted to know about whoever this guy is, mm -hmm. we're not going to judge. <clears throat> for real? Yes. Okay. Well, if you fall for someone outside those requirements, mm -hmm. we will. Don't real. listen to her, please. Okay. Don't listen to her. Okay. Now, tell us. You know gossip. Oh, Who is this? I mean, we'll keep this away from me. What are you talking about? I mean, how come no one told me that the person Juliet slept with in the toilet was Jerome? I don't know what you're talking about. Playing the dumb card would actually piss me off. Talk of Sorry. the devil. How could you? What is going on? Do you know what is going on? How did she know about it? <clears throat> Who told me about it is irrelevant. I mean, what is wrong with you girls? I mean, how could you girls do this? I am not aware. Girl, you fought. You fought my hand. Your own person. Now, wow, throw it on the Hello? Yeah, um, this is Tony. Um, I was wondering if we could um, see one of these things. I have something to tell you, okay? Um, it's not something we could talk about on the phone. Yeah. Mr. Joel is outside. He says he wants to see you. Go out there and tell him that you don't want to ever see him in this compound. Um, I think there is something he wants to tell you. Let him shove whatever it is down his throat. Go right away. Okay. So you gotta watch your back, no one knows the enemy. Hey, have you not heard? Among every twelve, there must be Judas. Hey, have you not heard? Not everyone's smiling with you, want something good to come to you. In the midst of things, you'll be asking. Oh, Alright, how are you? What can I do for you? Well, I came to see you. For what? I was hoping you can get it to work. There is absolutely nothing for us to talk about. The next time I see you around my premises, I will call the police on you. You know me. You see, Laura. Oh, shit, shit. Laura. Bring on.
Uh, thank you very much, Ma. I had a nice time. You don't really have to call me Ma. It's Laura. Okay, um, I'm sorry, Miss Laura. There you go again. <laughs> I'm sorry. You really don't have to attach a title to it. In time, I, I will not. All right. I guess I'll see you some other time. Yeah, uh, that's a little. All right. Take care. Well, I mean, we had a swell time. Your friend is really a cool person, you know? I don't know. I think I kind of like her. I don't know what it is. I think I know what it is. It's a distraction. You need, you need to focus. Remember, no feelings. You need to stay on course. What's all this? What's all this? It's hey, kind of like hey, it. I know, I know. Okay? I'm on course. Really? Yes. You think so? <laughs> I hope you're not trying to avoid me telling you to give me a earring. Really? Of course, you know, I've always loved it. Until I enter your wardrobe. <laughs> I am definitely taking this dress. Come on, we are not same size. Babe, I'm going to say it. Why is it I have got good news for you girls. <laughs> Juicy news. What is it again? <laughs> I hope it's not one of your middle days gossip because it's one help, darling. Mm -mm. This is so exciting. I can't wait to talk about it. Oh no. You're about to get dumped by another guy. <laughs> you are mad. You are seriously mad. Then what? <laughs> Let's hear out. I see the hearts. I see the hearts. Okay. Laura <clears throat> has gotten herself. Amen. It's a lie. Finally. It's a lie. Finally. It's not Tell a me lie. you're joking. I'm not joking. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you. Our oh girl is built. Ooh. Bella. I'm telling you. I'm not. I'm telling you because it's true. Oh my God. This is it so is amazing. Like this is, this is a wonderful news. Where have you been? I went to see Laura. Why? I don't understand. What do you mean my wife? Because you're not supposed to see her anytime you want. If you must see her, I need to be aware. <laughs> well, I'm doing everything possible for this deal to pull through. If you're doing everything, then why are you being distracted? Stick to the plan. Are you, are you afraid that I might forget about everything and get untangled with her? Is that not what is clearly happening? We both drafted this plan. I needed to stick to it. Okay, I've heard you. Ma, um, I have to go. She might be asking some question. Be careful of what you tell her. Okay, I have to leave now. I'm coming, Ma. Be careful. Ma. Tony, what's going on? Uh, nothing, Ma. You okay. sure? Yeah. Okay, this. Uh. Do you have a problem with your boss? Okay, no problem. I'll try and make our time. All right. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> uh -uh. Is this a gang up or something? What is this about? I know what. Mm. We can see something. 
You can see what? Mm -hmm. What can you see? I can see someone is in love. Mm -hmm. Let me just explain it. It's about the way you drop your pitch mm. and change your tone. Mm. Mm. And that can only happen when love happens. Can you imagine? What are you girls talking? You girls are trouble, trust me. <laughs> What's this? <coughs> what are you girls about? Ah. <laughs> what is love? <coughs> Laura, you are a secret. What? I didn't say anything. Show shit. You know, it's not like if you tell us about this guy, he will snatch him away from you. Thank you. Oh. Who knows? <laughs> Some of us have little or no self control. Why are you bringing it up again? I thought we've gone past it. We should be able to make jokes with these things, babes. Fair. Hello? What is the meaning of that? Listen, if you try it, you will be the first to regret it. Listen! What's going on? What's going on? Where, where, where is she going to? Uh, what is happening? Perhaps Michael has decided to throw her out of the house. Well, come on now. Why would you say that about your friend's marriage? <laughs> Does she consider us her friend? We think she just walked that on us. And you, what is wrong with you? Why can't you just let sleeping dogs lie? Seriously. <laughs> Whatever. Looking for Tony? Yes, Tony. Tony's not around. Do you have an idea where he could be? Am I supposed to know anything about that church rat? But he's your employee. Well, I thought so too. Excuse me, madam. Sorry. What's going on? I want to tell you something. What is it that couldn't wait till tomorrow? I resigned from my job. You found another job? No. Why will you resign from your job without an alternative? Oh, that's because I was never working there for the morning. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, nothing about my make believe situation is real. You're confusing me. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm not poor as I made you believe. Tony, what are you talking about? Um, my name is Anthony. Wesley Francis. Anthony. Wesley Francis. That name. Are you? Are you in any way related to the vice president? He's my father. Look, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry you had to find out in this situation. I'm sorry. 
Wait, hold on. I'm trying to wrap my head around this thing. Wait. The vice president has three wives. Which is your mother? The second wife. The one he refused to project to the world. My goodness. So, all of this is a game? I just had to disguise. I had to get rid of everything I have. You know, just to find love. I still don't... I, I want to tell you something. I feel like I've had enough already. Wesley Francis. Are you in any way related to the vice president? He's my father. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry you had to find out in this situation. I'm sorry. So, apparently you're not doing this for the money. Because you're wealthy, even though she never knew about this. Yes. So why then are you doing this? You know, when she told me that you're the kind of woman who doesn't want a man for his money, that you'd rather prefer a broke guy, I knew you were the woman I've been looking for. Laura, look, I'm sorry for concealing my identity from you. You know, there's no need for you to apologize to me. Because you are no different. Laura, I am sorry. Look, I had to discontinue the whole deal just to, you know, just to let you know how I feel. I have fallen in love with you. I am no longer interested in this. I need to go. Laura, please, you have to listen Get to me. Get down from my car, please. I don't want to shout. Laura, I am... Leave. I'm... Now. Now. Do you believe that? Talk of the devil. Who is the devil? You are the devil himself. In fact, you are the wife of the devil. Is this a joke? Oh, please stop playing the dumb card. The truth is out. So you can be like this. Tony told me everything. So you can do this to me. Wait, what truth are you talking about? Ask this Jezebel! Juliet, what is going on? Maybe you should ask this fool that is backing like a dog. You know what? I do not want to ever set my eyes on you again. Now get out! Get out! Witch! You are a demon! You are a Jezebel! I do not want to ever see you in my life again! Calm down. Calm down. This girl is evil. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Clavaya. This girl can never change. But why does he want to use your own boyfriend to make you? I don't know. 
It's obvious. We all know this girl has been envious of Laura. We all know that. Are you guys aware that Julia no longer lives with Michael? What? And where does she live? Now, all this while she's been complaining to us that Michael is beating her up is simply because he caught her red handed with another man on top of their matrimonial bed. What? That's not true. Really? And Michael actually threw her out of the house and decided to keep the children so she would not end up corrupting them. And where does she stay now? With another man. That's why she's not allowing any of us to intervene in her matter. With Juliet, anything is possible. That she woman is a best. She's worse. A monster. You got it. She is. She is. First life, so many hidden enemies. That you sir, don't know. Sir, please. Sir, sir, please. Sir, please, you can't buy it. Sir, please. Sorry, madam, I tried to eat it. What is it? I opened up to you. I told you the truth, and instead of you seeing reasons with me, you decided to hate me. I'd rather you leave me the hell alone and get out of my office. I do not want to shout. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather I lie to you? Good question. But do you rather he lie to her? Don't make this any worse. I'm not trying to. But let's put this in the right perspective. This guy is rich. Yet, humble enough to become poor just so he can find true love. He knew that if she finds out from someone else, he might end up losing her. So he decided to open up to her by telling her everything. Instead of she falling in love with him like never before. She detests him for telling her the truth. Now my question to you ladies is, would you rather he lied to her? Can we not talk about this right now, please? If you say so. Cheers, ladies. Cheers to both, exactly. Well, you call it failure. Let's just say the music has alternated by pitch and tone. What nonsense does that mean? Let's just say I've got strategies, new strategies. So what are you going to do now? I got a grand plan. Tell me about this grand plan of yours. Oh, no. Just know that like the old tale goes, there are so many ways to kill a rat. Whichever you're doing, do not fail this time. Best life, so many hating enemies that you don't know who's against you. Uh, hello, ma. No? She's not here yet. No. I think she's here. She might be the one. Look, man! Look, man! Go get the gate. Check who's at the gate. A good friend today can turn to be your enemy. So stay at a lot. Cause they are wealth in the coats of sheep. 
they are green snake in green grasses So you gotta watch your back, no one knows the enemy hey, Have you not heard, among every twelve, there must be Judas hey, Have you not heard, not everyone smiling with you Want something good to come to you, in the midst of things you'll be asking my enemy, hey, and who did I offend? No, let me tell you, you know, offend anybody. Hi, Raymond. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Are you? I'm good. Dora said to give you this car keys to take the car to the mechanic. Yeah, I'm away. I'm supposed to go service the car. Oh, I mean, good. it's having a sound issue. All right. Oh, did she say any other thing? Just general servicing. All right. Uh, th thank you very much. It's fine. I'll, I'll believe you. All right. Uh, look, man. Open the gate. First life. So many hating enemies. That you don't know who's against you. Such around you. So many friendly enemies. Praying for your downfall. Yeah. Now. Kessie, I need a favor from you. What could the vice president's son possibly need from me? <clears throat> the woman he loves. I need to help me speak with her. Tony, Laura is my best friend, but... At this point, I think she needs to heal. Juliet's betrayal, your story... A lot has been happening. Kessie, I understand, but please, you need to help me out here, okay? <sighs> Okay, I'm not promising anything, but I'll I'll try. I'll talk to her. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Hello, babes. What? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! God. What happened? What did she say? Our driver has just been kidnapped. What? How? Where? I think I need to go right now. Um, I, I can't come with you right now. No, yeah? no, no. That, that won't be a good idea. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, okay. I don't think you're all like that. Yeah. All right, Tony, take care. Give him the car keys to the mechanic. Has she called the police? No, the police was the one who recognized the car and called Laura. 
the armed robber didn't leave with the car. This is strange. And he's telling me only one thing. What could that be? Hmm. It is a targeted kidnap. This is not robbery. It's not. Right? Think about it. We have to do something. Oh my god. What? I suspected it. You know what? Release him immediately. Did you hear what I said? Good. Who is that? Those are my boys. They said, uh, Red Vipers. They are the ones that carry out the operation. Who sent them? A woman named Juliet. Okay. Thank you. You need to calm down, babe. What if he's the so-called vice president's son that is doing all, all of this? Why would he want to kidnap Raymond? I mean, of course, to get back at me for refusing him. Mm -mm. I don't think that's the case. That's what I deserve. I can't believe my friends would trust a total stranger. I mean, what if he's fake? Uh, I strongly disagree. We're not fake when we see one. Just as you spotted the fake in Juliet, right? Yet you were always protective of your friendship with Juliet. Exactly, girl. She was always making excuses for her. She's this, she was that, she's... Like, at a point, I stopped listening. I never really approved of your friendship with that woman. I never did. I never did. Look, girl, I think you should just give them the ransom. Yeah, I'm planning to do that. I mean, they already sent the address. Well, the police say you shouldn't. I have to. They said they're going to kill him in level 59. I have to. Raymond! They freed you? Yes. They told me to go. Just like that? Yeah. But I had someone over the call who gave them the order for them to let me go. So they just freed me. Who could that be? I don't know. And <laughs> you we are planning to pay the ransom. Ransom? Yes. How much? 500 million. 500 million? Your boss was going to pay. She was going to make a withdrawal this evening. For me? 500 million? Yes! Thank you. Honestly, it's very good. Welcome back, Ray. Welcome back. What are you even saying? Do you know each of you could have been a hundred million naira richer? You be all that to the wind because of what? You, 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 goodness. I'm sorry. You want to write the release of, of, of him without my consent? Like I said, I am sorry. The instruction came from above. That means my box asked us to do that. Did your boss pay for this job or I did? I do whatever that pleases him. It's no longer the way it used to be before. So whatever that pleases him, I carry out the assignment. I don't care whatever that comes out of it. I see. Get out. Get out of my car! <laughs> First life, so many hidden enemies. 
knees That you don't know who's against you What else do you want from me? You tell me how to live my life You virtually tell me how to do everything You even tell me how to live with my husband Point of correction, Juliet You are nothing but a poor church rat Yes, when I met you that was the reason I brought Michael into your life, to change your ordeal around. But what did you do? Like the cheap throat whore you are, you went on cheating and cheating. Look at you, talking to me that you, you've been doing everything for me. What else do you want? I have even killed Sandra for you. What do you want? Do you want my life? You mentioned that slutty. She deserves to die if you must know. Including my sugar boy. That slut made my sugar boy to spend my hard earned money on her. They want to run me dry. Oh, all thanks to you. Because you were the instrument I used in carrying her. Yes, because you are the one that is closest to her. Lady Fee, can you just leave me alone? Leave my life alone! Ah, shut up! Shut up! Like I said earlier, you were an instrument for me to get Laura. Because you are also the one closer to her. Chief Ephraim owes me the whole world. And I wanted to use you to get to her daughter, to run her dry. Now what did you do? You failed as always with your stupid strategies. Now tell me, how do I get her? How do I do that? But if you, I promise I'm going to bring Laura to her knees. She will beg you. Just give me one chance. One more chance is not too much to ask. Just do let you know me too well. If there is one word that I don't have patience for, that is one more chance. I don't have time for that. Especially the patience to condone inattitude. Now look at you. Shedding tears. Do I say crocodile tears? You are crying, begging for me. Tell me, how much tears do you have to shed? How much tears do you have to run before <laughs> you kill this? Michael's body was found earlier today. Inferences from the news says he must have gotten into a fight. Wait. Hold on. This looks like bullet wounds. I hope Juliet is not in trouble. I hope so too. Keep the empathy aside. What? She's our friend. She is not our friend. You have to stop doing that. Come on. Of course, I want to do that. But put things in perspective. He is rich, yet he is humble enough to become poor just so he can find true love. He knows if he doesn't tell you the truth and you find out for yourself, he might lose you. And he decided to tell you the truth. But rather than like him for it, 
you detest him for telling you the truth. Would you rather he lied to you? Yeah, hello? Hello. Who's this? Hello, this is Tony. How the hell did you get this number? What do you want? Um, I have something important to tell you, okay? We have nothing to talk about. Can you just listen to me? This is not about me or about the issue we have. It's about you. I have to tell you something. It's important. Look, I am not interested. And don't call this number again. I am not interested. Hello? Hello? Jeez. Miss Laura? Um, by what time should I come and pick you? Please just go. I'll, I'll call you when I need you. I hope you're right. I'm okay. Alright. These men said they are members of the Economic and Financial Crime Control. Okay. And they said they have something to show you. Okay, then. Please have your seat. Mm, we only do that when it is between you and us. Private members. Um, she needs to be. No, she has to stay. I mean, is this place not private enough? Ma'am, not with her, please. Well, she's my secretary and my personal assistant. She's privy to a number of things about me and the company. So yes, she stays. I, I think uh, it's okay. She can stay. So what is it? <clears throat> what is this? That shows that your company has been into series of illegal activities, both in and outside this country. That statement shows that your company has been into some cyber criminalities. But this is not true. This is this is uh, this is not possible. How is this possible? Well, as you can see, this transaction was done directly from your office, and we'll be keeping track of every transaction from here, ma'am. This is nonsense. This is not possible. This didn't happen. Sir, good, sir, I think there's a serious miss up somewhere. I don't get it. Because you see this lady right here, she's the most modest and contented soul on earth. <laughs> um, young lady, can you give your life to that? I can guarantee you that. Well, it's okay. Let's see how she put through this time. Um, sorry, madam, you have to follow us to our office for further questioning. Right now. You know I'm not going to fall for these gimmicks. Yes. Linda. Yes, madam. Call Barris now. I'll try to do that. Where is that? Where is Laura? I, I need you ladies to stay calm and put yourself together, please. Where is Please say something. What is going on? We have a situation at home. The state government is involved. Oh please. my god! What? Uh, because of the gravity of the offense and the evidence against her, they have long to refuse her bail. What? You see this? the matter will be charged to court. And? She's most likely to lose everything. Hey! Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> what do we do? Um, you have to say something. Yes. And she's most likely to go to, to jail. What? Very stunning. You have to do something. I'm doing everything I can. I'm walking. Please, you just have to. Please. I'm trying to Here is a balance. And how much is this? Double of what I promised. Oof. I like the sound of that. 
and I like the smooth job you did. It was excellent. Well, let's just say that's why they call me the cyber lord. I see. Nice doing business with your mom. Hmm. Best life, so many hating enemies that you don't know who's against you. Such a around you, so many friendly enemies that pray for you. Listen, Francisca, I know someone designed all the tricks just to nail Laura, and I need you to find a person for me. This was carried out by highly intelligent internet and cyber experts. It will be pretty difficult fishing out the fellow. Francisca, nothing is impossible. I'll do nothing short of my best. Copy you. I'll need you to do more than your best, Francisca. Bye, boss. Bye. quite hysterical over the phone. Someone is trolling the operation. To a large figure, I I think he's working for the FBI, more of like partnering with the FBI and with the EFCC. Who is this person? I don't know, but he's some intelligent guy working for the FBI and they contracted him to undercover the case and crack the operation. Okay, hold it. Do you think this can be uncovered? I fear they might. What? You have to do something. I don't know what to do. This guy's cyber proclivities are super fast. He's messing up my codes. No, 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 no. You, you, you just have to do something. What are you saying? Do something! Fine. Like what? <laughs> Excuse you? Okay, fine. I, I, I mean, do everything like because I have done everything I can currently right now. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what he does, but he's super active. He's super good. What was the reason you said they call you Cyber Lord again? I'll find a way. Please, unleash everything you've got. Explore your cyber intelligence. I don't want this thing to blow up. Fine. But I won't be doing this for nothing. Oh, goodness. oh goodness. I'll give you more money. I'll give you more money. I will triple this. I will give you money. Just do something. Okay. Fast, please. I got you. Just go. Just do something. Just. Let me just waste this talented church. Eh? Uh, I am. Um, you can keep your head away. I do not uh, kill people or take laws into my hand. I prefer to take the Let me handle it. Let me handle this. Okay? Young man, you have until the end of today to end what you did. Okay? See what I tell you. You can't go with your time. I don't let him do Look, hey, it's the end of the day. Now get out of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can just answer. This is your, you will not do what they ask him to do. I am, don't worry, this person will handle it. Bella! I'm here.
Charles. Okay. I am so afraid. Let's pray. God has to intervene in the courtroom today. Laura. It's fine. She's on a call with the family lawyer. But who provided them with the counter evidence? <laughs> even Laura doesn't even know. The fellow chose to conceal their identity. Maybe it's uh, Mr. Afford. <sighs> no, I'm not sure. He said he knows nothing about it. This is strange. Very strange. You know, it's kind of strange. I think it's uh, one of her father's friends. Perhaps. What about you? What about me? Oh, how are you? I was life generally. I thought you went back to the Federal Capital Territory. Mm, no. Um, I have a couple of businesses here. And I'm still setting up new ones. Mm, mm -hmm. Nice. What do you do? Oh, I'm into tech. It's beautiful. You know, someone of your class and caliber, the vice president's son, doing something <laughs> for himself, not relying on your father's money as a vice president's <laughs> son. Oh, well, he's only a vice president and not the president. Besides, it's the country's money, not his or mine either. You know, I wish every president of this country and your family members would think like you do. Nigeria <laughs> would be a better place. Well, uh, true. You know, the country is in shamble because of um, greed and selfishness of these leaders. Mm, I say that Chief again. Ephraim would have actually been one of the best candidates for presidency. But the mandate was taken from him. Even the judicial was compromised. Why do I feel like you sound like you don't believe in your father's running mate, the president? He and my father are not capable of ruling this country. Yeah. We need young, intelligent, smart people to right. take over. Yeah, and not this old, retired, sick man that are <laughs> making life a living hell for the citizens. True. <sighs> True. Well, enough of that. Um, let me just drop you, okay? All right, thanks. All right, okay. Put him inside! Come right there! Listen to me. I need that woman dead. I want her to suffer for everything she put me through. There is one thing I do not have. It is time, especially to condone ineptitude. Listen, if you cannot do this job, I will get somebody else to do it.
It's Laura. Yeah. It's time. Okay, just give me a few minutes, let me round up. All right. Okay, that's it. Shut down. Yeah. Lara is still not back. I'm worried. I'm seriously worried. And the phone is not reachable. I'm going to call her myself. What? Voicemail? This is strange. Like, I can usually connect at first trial. Ladies, let's not panic, okay? Let's just keep trying her number. Okay? Do I, do I call? Do I call? No. Do I even call now? Barrister Alfred. I think I'm going to call Barrister Alfred. Oh. Um, let me... Let me send him a voice message. Hello, Barrister Alfred. This is Tessie, Laura's friend. Please, I think our friend Laura has gone missing. Please do call as soon as you get this. Thank you. Come on, Tessie. She's not missing. What do you tell him she's missing? That's because she's usually back three hours before now. You know what? Let me call the sick. Yes, hello. Yeah, this is Bella. I was wondering if Laura is not work. What? Oh, oh, oh it's, it's nothing, it's nothing. Um, thank you very much. Um, let me know when you hear from her, okay? Oh, all right, all right, thank you. Look, ladies, I think we need to go out there. Has anyone called Raymond? I do, he's never the switched off. Switched off? Then this is creepy. <laughs> Let's go look for her then. Yes. Hello, Barrister. Please, have you, have you heard from her? We haven't either. Not a word. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. What did he say? He said he hasn't heard anything from her, but he has informed the police. Are you sure she has not been kidnapped? Because I do not understand what is going on. I don't understand this. Seriously. Yes. What are we going to do? I'm sure she's not kidnapped yet. You know what? Let's just go. Oh, you know what is it? There is a problem. What is the problem? Laura and his uh, driver has been kidnapped. What? Wait, 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 I don't understand. And you're sitting down here telling me? My friend knows something about it. What are you telling me? <clears throat> where, where? What happened? How did it happen? There is a bigger problem. And what could the problem be? I don't have power over that threat. Ayon, what are you saying? Wait, wait, wait. Who ordered the kidnap? Squad 3. You know I don't understand these things. Anyways, um, Squad 3 is a leading team in Bayside. Okay. And whenever this uh, Squad 3 
is involved in a kidnap. There is this always a, their mission is not only on the money. And what could it be if it's no money? They killed the victim involved. What? Ion, I don't need anything to happen to Laura. Do something about it now. Go, do something about it now. Do something. Yeah, Francisca, I'm in position. If you get any signal, you let me know. No, 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 don't, don't come here. Don't come here. This is not for you, okay? I can see everything you're covering quietly. Yeah, I'm right here. Okay. I'm in position. Just stay glued to your screen. They come now. I'll move run out for you. I will do it myself. Come on, we're not girl the night for you. We're not girl the night for you. In 10 minutes time, say you're not know, sure. We don't we will fight this whole stage for you. Until they hear me so. I'll be there shortly. Share your last that they tell you so I'll be. No while on every Did you hear that? <laughs> we will see. Alright, good luck. Make sure she comes out safe. Okay. Madam, as you can see, my boys, they're on guard. You can see everywhere is on guard now. I will be leaving you here for now, okay. if you don't mind. Ah, I, I'm, I'm so delighted. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. But I think you will keep that thanks for my boss. You're welcome. 
Who is your boss? Don't worry. In time, you will know who is my boss. Okay, um. Don't worry yourself. Every way is on guard. God, I will still tell all that people on the side yes. the same thing. Do not believe for back. If you see anyone here, buy me a lead. Okay, boss. Yes, yes boss. Understand what I mean? Yes, yes. boss. I've not seen her today. I hope she's alright. Sure. Sorry to badge you. Well, um. It's fine. Sit down. I actually have something to show you. Officers! I know she deserves to be in police custody. What the hell is she doing in my house? She's responsible for everything. I've always known that you are the devil incarnate. She devil. She's responsible for the kidnap of Raymond. For the forging of illegal documents. For your kidnap. As well as she tried killing you. Jesus Christ. Shit. Wait, hold on. I, I was saved by that guy who brought his guys. What's his name again? Um, 
Ayon. <laughs> I put him in his place. Really? Are you surprised? You are still alive because I spared you. I should have killed you a long time ago. And you are going to rot in hell. Officers, please take her away. Get out. You will die, rot, smell, and dry up in jail. She will melt in jail. Demon! Um, I have a confession. I know already. I mean, it's been you all along. You've been saving me from all her schemes. I promise, she didn't get that from me. Bella told me. Oh, yeah, that was from me. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all you do for me. And I'll be a fool if I do not spend the rest of my life with you. Oh. Um, tell me what country do you intend traveling to? Uh, I'm to Dubai. Dubai. But Dubai is it's just random, it's just there. So, what, what do you have in mind? Okay, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah? What is it? You won't believe this. What's going on? The video you posted. I mean, in less than one hour, we have a million views. Nigeria is going to be on fire. Who is it? Who is it? It's my father. Maybe he has seen the video. Of course he has seen it. That's why he's calling me. Someone has not spoken to me for over two years. He's calling me right now. I think you should pick the call. Why? Babe, for what reason? Please, Please don't insist. Please, I... I'm not taking the video down. Look, that's fine. I'm not taking the video down. Please. He wants you to take down the video. Exactly. Are you going to do it? No, over my dead body. I mean, the world needs to know what all these politicians are doing. You know, everything said by the ring leader of the Kintapian squad about the sitting president. Just, um, you know, everything said by the ringleader of the kidnapping squad about the sitting president. Are you doubting me? Six. Well, I'm not doubting you. Let's place the bet. Are you serious about this? Yeah. Um, How much are you betting? Okay, um, two million. Two point five. Ah, three million. Yes. I said two million. Put it below. What was that? Five. The five hundred. What's the point five hundred? The five hundred is in case. Uncle, what are you doing here? Whoa, oh. Uncle. Wow, that's quite encouraging. At least you remember we are What still are related. you doing here? That is the question. Uh, listen, my beautiful niece. You see, I am not here to uh, make war. Neither am I here to claim any entitlements. Listen, you are the only family I have. Okay? You know, we're left in the family. There's no need for us to continue in enmity. So I've come to say sorry. Okay? 
Yeah, and um, of course, um, so say thank you to your husband to be for representing justice for the common man. Actually, you are the country's beekeeper. Yeah, my man. Thank you very much, Miko. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you. Thank you very much. Sir. Can I see? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. So, um, uh, I'm to have you. I do it for my love. I do it for my country. I do it for my love. I do it for my country. So many things going wrong in this country. So many enemies in disguise, but we don't know who they are or what they look like. We don't know. The question is, where is the moral? Or is the moral? Because I'm ready to fight and make things right again. I'm gonna do it. Country to abolish corruption. 